In this video, we are going to make a beginner project using the Xtool M1. We are gonna go start to finish, and the goal is to get you comfortable using both the software and your machine. Let's get into it. Hey there, I'm Sarah. You're watching Creative Ramblings, where I share simple projects and in-depth tutorials helping you move forward on your creative journey. Today we are talking about the Xtool M1. This is a fantastic 10 watt laser and blade cutter in one. If you want to learn more about this machine, take a look at my in-depth review up above. I have a lot more M1 videos too if you want to go even more in-depth. Today we are doing a beginner project. So I want to walk you through start to finish how to create something that uses both the cut and engrave settings. I want you to get comfortable with the software, comfortable with the material, so you can go forward and make your own custom projects. This is what we're making today. A wooden keychain that is both cut and engraved. Here's what you'll need for this project. You'll need your Xtool M1 all set up, vented out a window, and ready to go. I have the basic 10 watt model. I do not have air assist on this model. There is no honeycomb base or anything. I'm really just using what came in the box. I am also using the Xtool Creative Space software. So you'll wanna make sure that that is downloaded to your computer. So let's go over to the computer and get started. Let's start by opening up Xtool Creative Space. So we are going to design this project before we connect our machine. So first things first, over here on insert, we're going to choose rectangle and just freehand a rectangle the size you want it. Now I want to round these corners just a little bit. So up here in corner radius, I can decide how much rounded I want them. That's a little much. So we're going to go with about a half an inch. Now we're going to make this a keychain. So I am going to go to insert a circle. You can also go down here to shape and choose a basic shape from up on top here. So I like this auto snapping feature. When I have it centered, that line appears telling me that this is about in the right place. Now we're going to engrave some things on this. So this keychain and this circle are going to be cut out. And now we're going to go over to text and we're going to engrave the word mom. So when you click text, this hello pops up. You go over here to the text box and you put your text in there. Then you can choose a font. This is going to show every font available through Xtool. And it's also going to show all the fonts available on your computer. So if you have downloaded and installed fonts, you will see them all here. I'm just going to use this dancing script. This is something that Xtool recommends. I have the choice to make it bold, medium. We're going to do bold because I want thicker letters. Now, if I were to cut this like this, the M, the O, and the M would all cut out separately. It would actually make kind of a mess where these letters connected. So I want to weld that. So we're going to go down here on the right and just click weld. So I'm going to center that on my keychain. And now I have room on the side here to add a graphic. Over here under shape, this is so much more than just shapes. You have basic shapes, borders, plants, animals, festivals. And if you click this little arrow, you're going to get a ton of clip art to choose from. This is a great place to start before you start importing your own SVGs. There's a lot you can do with what's here in creative space. We're just gonna add a little flower. If I select everything, I can come up here to align and I can choose vertical align center. This is gonna make sure everything is centered. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect our device. Turn on the machine in the back and I'm gonna take this USB cord and connect it to my computer. Now I'm going to place a piece of three millimeter basswood in the machine. I have these triangular prisms here. This just helps raise the material up so you get some good airflow. I wanna make sure that this little red dot is kind of near the center of my material. 
Now, before my device is connected, up here in the right-hand corner, it's going to show whatever I was using last time, which happens to be my P2. Now, my M1 is plugged into my laptop. You can also connect via Wi-Fi. I just find USB a little bit better because my Wi-Fi connection isn't great in this space. So now I'm going to hit Connect Device. It's going to pop up right there. This error is only showing up because the P2 was originally connected. Now, since we put that piece of basswood into the machine, it's going to show up from the camera on my canvas. So now I can take this design that we made and I'm going to shrink it down. I only want it to be about four inches wide. So I want to select everything, choose four inches, and then it's going to size it down just perfect. I do want to make that hole just a little bit bigger so that I know my keychain can go through it. I want it to be at least a quarter of an inch. And then everything else can stay the same. I'm going to line it all up one more time. I'm going to just enlarge my canvas a little bit so I can see my engraving a little bit better. And now let's set some parameters. So the machine is connected. Over here, we always wanna choose laser flat when doing something flat. Uh, you can do blade cut or print and blade cut. If you're doing a tumbler, you could do a laser. If you have it raised up and you're doing something larger, you can do open plane. But for most of the projects you do, you're going to choose laser flat. And anytime possible, choose a user-defined material. Doing this is going to give you some settings, and it's a great place to start. We're going to measure the thickness next, but first we want to go over here and choose, yes, we are using those triangular prisms to raise the wood up off the base. Now we can go ahead and measure the thickness. So with all that set, we can tell XCS what we want to do with our design. So the little circle and the outside, if I hold shift, I can select both of those at the same time. Those are going to be cut. These parameters right here are the suggested settings for cutting basswood with your M1. I always recommend starting with those settings and just seeing how it goes. Just because those settings work for me doesn't mean they're going to work for you. Every material and every machine is a little bit different. It's always helpful to run a few test cuts or create a test grid when you're making your first projects. Let's pause right there. Really important message. When you have a reference material, Xtool Creative Space is going to give you a suggested power and speed for both your cut and engraving. Most of the time, that reference is not gonna be ideal for your project. You are gonna end up, or should end up, with lots of pieces of material that look like this. This is just one of my test pieces of basswood. Your machine and your settings and your material are going to be unique. So make sure you leave material and time to do cut settings. You can run a material test grid or you can do kind of what I did here is I just ran a bunch of different shapes at different speeds and power until I got the one that was just right for my project. Once you do all of this, you can grab a clean piece of basswood and you're going to know your exact settings for your project. Don't skip this and don't expect your first project to come out perfect. Do some tests first. Now let's get back to the project. Now I'm going to select mom and this little design. We're going to engrave those. Again, I'm going to go with the recommended power and speed settings here. Once I'm ready to go, we're going to frame. I'm gonna go hit the button on the machine and it's gonna draw a box around where my design is. This is just peace of mind knowing that it's engraving in the appropriate spot.
So with the framing complete, I'm now looking at this and thinking, you know, I should probably move this whole design up to the corner here. That's going to allow me to use better, make better use of the rest of the material. So I'm going to go ahead and move that. I'm going to frame one more time. Just make sure everything is where I want it. Now we can go ahead and process the design. Down in the left corner, you're going to get an estimated time here. I'm going to hit start on XCS. And then I need to press the button on my M1 to make sure that it starts. It's a nice safety feature. This pops out of the wood beautifully. Everything was cut and engraved just as it should be. Now there's a little bit of charring around the edge here. So an easy way to get rid of this is to grab a piece of fine grit sandpaper and just run the edge over the sandpaper. I've already done it a little bit on this one and that char is just gonna disappear. Then take a soft cloth, wipe all the dust off and you can add a sealer to the top just to give it some shine. So we made a really straightforward wood keychain that was both cut and engraved using the Xtool M1 laser. I hope you found this beneficial. I hope you learned something about the software and about your machine. If you have any other questions, drop them down in the comments. And if you learned something today, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I have a ton of other laser videos here on this channel and I am here with something new every week. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.